love. All right, today we're having a little fun with a subject that a lot of us can relate to. A licensed therapist, Dr. Misty, Misty Smith, is here today with some relationship advice. Hey, Dr. Smith, good to see good you. Good to see you. Okay, so the term in the doghouse has been used for years and years and years. Yes. So Mickey and Mike are up here on the, the desk with us today. Not that they know anything about that, right? No, I've, 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 I've never been. I've in my uh, doghouse. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of camp screen. out there a lot? You're in there a lot, aren't you? It's, it's been a long time there, there. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Is it fair to say that it, when the term in the doghouse does refer to husbands a lot? Typically so, I would say. Mm -hmm. I, I refer to my yeah. husband that way occasionally. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's in the doghouse? Always got to hate on the men. All right, okay. here we go. All right, so here, all right, here's what, how this is going to work. Uh, we're going to ask the, the question, and the therapist will have the correct answer. Some of these um, are pretty obvious. Some are pretty funny. Okay. And these guys are going to write on their little thing here the answer. What do you think the, the answer is? The quiz to get out, the tips on getting out of the doghouse. Right. All right, okay. here we go. So when your partner walks away from an argument, okay. you A, follow them and continue the argument, okay. B, let them walk away and cool down, C, vent on social media and defriend them. Oh, okay. That's that <laughs> so obvious. Uh, follow and continue. <laughs> continue. All right, you say... See? No, no, you know that's not the answer. <laughs> oh, Mickey, what do you say, A or B? Uh, I, 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 what are the questions? You know, we only have like three minutes for the uh, okay, anyway, well, so Do Dr. you Smith. follow and continue to argue, or do you let them cool off? All right, Dr. Smith. Just follow and continue to argue. Yeah, we're both wrong. Aren't okay, we? you're you're both a little wrong. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to resolve this issue. You would resolve the issue, yeah. and that's that's fine. The idea is to ultimately resolve the issue, but everybody has a different cool down time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, if your partner's walking away, give they need that time. So okay. give it. They're to walking them. away for a reason. They're give walking them away for a reason, so they don't say or do anything that's not rational. All right. Okay. All right. So here we go. Number two. Okay. The evening after an argument, you a play video games. Okay. Go out with your buddies until the kids are in bed. Schedule alone time to acknowledge hurt feelings. Uh, okay. Be serious. How you really? Right, what the I'm answer gonna, I'm gonna is? I'm gonna be good this time. Yay! Oh, yay! <laughs> All right. Is that a puppy Very in the doghouse? Mm -hmm. Okay. Very All right, good. Dr. Smith. You both got it right. Schedule alone time um, so that so that you guys can discuss it later and uh, because in. When you're at work, it's not a good time. Okay. When you have the children awake, it's not a good time. You can't really acknowledge that you, that you've somehow messed up. So it's and really revolving a problem through texting is not a good no, idea. No, it's not because you can't you can't hear tone, you can't hear inflection. Yeah. But when you so say discussion, you, it really that means just listening, right? A lot of times, okay, yes. Right. That's exactly it's what that. Means. All right, number three. <laughs> you anger your spouse before work. Okay. That night. Bring her a favorite dessert or fruit. Oh, okay. Bring her sexy lingerie. Mm. Bring home a new dust buster. <laughs> well, I can tell you what I'd like for the answer to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, pretty okay. obvious. Mint chocolate chip ice cream does wonders. For it it does, because yeah. it, it, it acknowledges that you know your spouse, that you actually pay attention to them. Flowers are easy. You run into public, you spend four bucks, you get flowers. Yeah. Those are nice. Just for random things. Because yeah. if they're upset well, with you, bringing lingerie is not sending oh the right no, message. No, no, no. What if it's that's a really, really nice <laughs> dust buster. <laughs> no. Okay. No. Let's by the way, I don't know what public. <laughs> by the way, I don't know what public you're shopping at. But anyway. All right, let's go to our next one. <laughs> so after forgetting a birthday anniversary, this is a big deal. Ooh. Give a belated card. Okay. Claim rare case of amnesia. <laughs> plan date at nice restaurant. Hire the sitter and make sincere apology. Well, obviously. Yeah. So. So what you're saying is the answer is C, right? Correct. Because it's, a lot of people wouldn't go all. What if you're on a budget though? What if you're a guy? You know, you don't have a lot of money. What, then, then what? Then look out for. Uh, then find a family member or a friend who's willing to babysit. You set it up. That's a big thing. Is making sure that you're setting that up for them, and cook out. Make her nice dinner at home. But or, so it's okay to go to the Chinese buffet. Um, if that's what she likes. Okay. And, and, and maybe if it's a real special occasion, you go out and supersize a you know, fast food meal. I don't know that I would yeah. go there. <laughs> All right, that's it. Thanks, Dr. Smith. That was Thank fun. You. This Golden is why they end up in the doghouse. Back yes. in a moment. <laughs>